wash our hands with virtues. If one had filled his hands with dung, and then should lay hold of your feet, entreating you, far from hearing him, you would rather spurn him with your foot. How then dared you in such sort draw near to God, since in truth the tongue is the hand of them that pray, and by it we lay hold on the knees of God. Defile it not therefore, lest in the power of the tongue are death and life, and by your words you shall be justified, and by your words you shall be condemned. I bid you then watch your tongue more than the apple of your eye. Let us learn then what are the things that defile the man. Let us learn, and let us flee them. And this I say, not forbidding them to wash hands or mouth, but willing men so to wash as is meet, not with water only, but instead of water, with all virtues. For the filth of the mouth is evil speaking, blasphemy, reviling, angry words, filthy talking, laughter, jesting. If then you are conscious to yourself of uttering none of them, neither of being defiled with this filth, draw near with confidence. St. John Chrysostom, Homily 51 on the Gospel of Matthew, Chapter 15